Hi everyone, I know some of you, and I don't know some of you, but my name is Lehua, and uh, I'm Mike DuPont's intern this year. I worked, I've been with him for about a year now, a little less than a year, but I, uh, one of my projects while working for Mike with extension service is I did a trial with uh, Waikia High School as um, kind of a, like an educational, introduce them to natural farming, and I, in turn, I introduced myself to natural farming because I, I, I'm just a beginner. So it was fun. I got to learn with the kids and see the whole process. So um, I'll just jump into it. Our objectives were to compare uh, natural farming with other forms of farming. So we had um, two rows, one that we were managing with um, IMOs and natural farming and one that we just let the students do uh, what they wanted to do with it like a conventional you know plant your tarot. Um, another objective was to teach the students the basic concepts and expand the natural farming practices at Waikea. That this is the high school they have a Korean natural farming piggery that some students put up. They're real determined and um, they put it up and it's up there, no smell, right on campus, you know, it's really cool. So this was kind of, we're trying to follow that up. That was done a couple years ago. So we're trying to like push it a little more, let's continue to grow this kind of thing. They have two right now, but um, it's, it's about uh, half of this, just one stall, but pretty cool. So first, I'll just go through all the steps that we did. First, we prepped. So the main thing that the kids helped out with was planting the tarot. Um, and so we, we prepped it. This was a big uh, kind of weedy lawn for a long time. They threw the goats in and um, chewed it down a little bit. And then we had the kids go down and to get it pretty low, down to the grass with the bee eaters. And then we had the kids, they had a, he has mulch to make a row. And got them all involved, got them all dirty, and it was interesting. Like I'm, I'm one of those. I was one of those kids who loved to do it, but there were some kids that didn't know things, and it was cool to just see them all get dirty, down and dirty. So then we planted, and we had uh, there was taro growing there around in that pasture, and then they had some taro in another area, so we just pulled up these hoolies, and they were, they were pretty decent, but um, we planted them all and had the kids do that, you know, one arm length apart, and they had a lot of fun with that. Um, and then we watered them, we inoculated with IMO, and we also um, sprayed. We sprayed with IMO2 in a one-gallon sprayer, um, fermented plant juice and for the first day that we inoculated we put in the seawater and that's the first day <laughs> and so the procedure that um, I did I would go up there every Friday throughout the trial and spray kalo, the kalo with IMO2 and fermented plant juice kind of aiming at the back of the leaves and down into the where the corn where everything meets to kind of collect water so that was my how I was spraying so we used the one gallon sprayer which you can get at Ace for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that and then we used water from their fish pond they have aquaculture um, we used water from there because you don't want to use like water from the tap or else it'll have chlorine in it so either let your water sit or if you're on catchment that's good water to use and then two bottle cap caps of IMO2, and then two bottle caps of FPJ, fermented plant juice. So we came back the next week, and the goats had eaten everything. This is, <laughs> they had left a goat in, and you know, they don't usually eat the taro, because it's itchy, like we, we eat it without cooking it, but I think it was so young that um, they just went they just went for it, and the chickens also. So not only was it all eaten, but it was also kicked up everywhere and like all over the place. So we 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 kind of changed our our thing.
thinking and we put a black plastic that we had at the site onto it and kind of like tried to replant and poke holes and pull the little guys through but a lot of them there's a couple poking through but a lot of them were chewed down to little nubs so I was like uh I know natural farming's good but I don't know if they can revive these little things so but when we came back week after week I kept spraying these poor little things that were like eaten and and uh, by week five, they were starting to, to bounce back. And this was actually a really windy day, and I was surprised how strong the plants were. And they were, they were taking, you know, they were strong and, and green and all that. So then we'll just go through kind of each week. They got bigger and bigger and bigger and um, and bigger. <laughs> And they really look really healthy and green, no aphids. So it's really, really cool. Um, I took it next to the sprayer to kind of show how big it is. And they just were so dense, you know, keikis coming out of the bottom and the leaves are, you know, you barely see any dead leaves. They all just keep, keep going. So we, we ended it at 13 weeks about two weeks ago. And, um, this was our we, this was our uh, our row of natural farming kalo and this is our row of um, conventional <coughs> kalo and I think they tried to do some bokashi but they didn't really follow up with it but so um, I kind of did a test with me as the gauge up here and that's our natural farming tail that's up to you know well up to my stomach and then these are way up to my knees but it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's the results, and the fun part was working with the kids, and I, I took them all out, like, I went into the class and took them all out and interviewed them, and they were all, it was just really cool. They're like, oh, yeah, didn't expect that, and stuff, and um, the, the cool thing is that the teacher, he, he saw the kids do the piggery, but he wasn't really uh, trying, like, planning to do anything more. You know, he's sold on the piggery, but, you know, it's too much work, and you have to implement all your education, and he's got to do curriculum and all that. So we kind of just went in and did this project to be like, hey, this this works, and it's not hard. And and now for people who are uh, who don't make it on their own, they can, if they have to, it's not the best, but they can buy IMO at KTA or, and buy the sprays if they have to. And that's a good way to introduce it. And then when you want to go on a bigger scale, like um, they call him Kobe, Mr. Kobayashi, he said once they get on a bigger scale, then they can start making their own IMOs, which is kind of backwards, but at least it's at least it's natural farming. So one point that you brought up that was um, really cool is that it's a sustainable, it's sustainable and ready, readily available. And no matter what happens on the outside market, we have natural farming. We have everything we need to do natural farming here and make a high quality product. So that's kind of what this was all about. And so hopefully um, they did have tours, different different uh, schools came over to see and people are inquiring about the project. So they're gonna be impact, they're gonna be implementing natural farming more into their curriculum and um, yeah, this is a demonstration model for uh, for other programs. So, I mean, I, I don't know which, there's like La Pahoy Hoy, Konawina, different schools that still have ag left and not, of them, not all of them are doing natural farming, but it is a great way, it's safe, and it's, um, there's a lot of good to be done in education with natural farming. That's how we're gonna get the next generation to grow our food, so, yeah. It was a great learning experience for me and for them. And yeah, I think that's, oh, and here's the kids next to their hair. They're good kids down there at YKI High School. And that's it. Did, did anybody have any questions for the who? I have one. Yeah. The conventional farming, Row of Kara. 
did it get uh, fertilizer inputs or anything? I'm not sure if they did. I think they did. I'm not sure. I kind of let them do what they did. Yeah. 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 Yeah.